All right, so we got us a red letter day. We finally got some heated grips for the ZX14. Um, I love these. I had them on my KLR650, and uh, we're gonna put them on the ZX today. All right, so first things first, we got three screws to take out. We're gonna take out the side panel. Battery's right in there. One screw there. One screw there. That one's dece deceiving. And one hidden back in there. There's a trick to this one now. Once the screw's out, there's a rubber grommet right here. You can just stick a flat blade screw over, pop it out. Otherwise, this piece won't come out. Another note, when you take these screws out, make sure and retain the black washer. It's really easy to lose those, and they reduce vibration, so good to have. And here's that rubber grommet. I'm just gonna stick this right here. And just like that. Enough to pull that piece forward. There we go. And you can see how it's dislodged now. So we have all our screws out. Now I'm going to pull back this way and out so quick note about this uh, it actually you really got to pull on this thing now when it's on you're gonna pull out this way you really have to uh, grab on and give it a yank in fact it worried me that I was gonna break it so the sides off um, I'll likely have to take more off because uh, we have our battery in here and then we're, we're going to have to run this wire for the uh, heat grips. So I'm going to go ahead and take some more stuff off. Okay, now that we have access to the battery, um, I've undone the strap here. This was just uh, right here. We're going to go ahead and take these bolts out. This will liberate the battery. So what I've got going on here is it might be a little different. Uh, than some people. This bike has a Power Commander 5 uh, and I think that's about it but oh it also has a, a pigtail line so they've already tapped into the battery and we're gonna have to undo some things to get access to, to get this battery out of here so um, but it appears they're running their their negative here. Alrighty so we got the battery out so we took a 10 millimeter bolt and we had a whole lot of stuff um, attach to that. So this is going to be where our negative is going to from this. This is our negative terminal here. And there is our positive. So the first thing we want to do is just hook this guy up and see if it's actually working or not. So I'm going to hook positive, make sure no uh, touch anything, and then touch negative. This should light up. Uh, we have light. That's good. Next question is, are the handles heating up? Let's see. Okay, so what I ended up doing was running the wire up under this. This is actually just a piece of cover. The tank is back here. This is on the ZX-14. There's this big empty space here. It's kind of unique. So what I did was I took the sides off and looked around, took the inner sides off, and I'm going to run it in and just fasten it to some cables on the inside. Um, also, I want to show you a neat little trick for these. Um, this, I had a heck of a time getting this off, but I'm going to show you how to do the air compressor trick, and it comes off like no problem. Now, all the hunks and bad boys will tell you, purists ride without grips at all. So, if you're one of those guys, then you're done. Okay, now that we've got our handlebars off, we need to clean them up. You can see all that old glue. And we've got some super glue that we'll put on when we put the new grips on. And here's our wire coming out, so I just... I'll get everything set up before I start tying wires to everything. Uh, I couldn't really film this very well with my setup, but 
just slathered some super glue. I got one with a brush applicator and slathered around the inside of that. Twi and put these on and twist around. And uh, you want the wire facing down on both sides there. So it's a nice, it's a very nice thick grip. So I think that's going to be a really nice um, grip in general. You want to make sure that this doesn't bump into your brake or interfere in any way. So now I'll just hook the wires up and uh, find a place to mount the controller. We are all done and we'll just climb on board here. And what I've done is hidden the controller right up in there. It's kind of at an angle but works out better with this uh, with this being fully articulated in. So here's the only bummer. It's on. The bike is off. So you have to make sure and turn it off. I read that these things have an automatic uh, off, but it uh, doesn't appear to be working. So a uh, surefire way to get stranded is to, you know, go on a trip, be all nice and toasty, and uh, park the bike with this off. So you have to make sure and turn it off. Now you can you can wire it to a starter relay or uh, the headlight. I've heard people do the headlight too, and, and that way it would turn on with the bike. So uh, maybe in the future I'll go back and rewire it that way. But for now I just did it as installation uh, was recommended by the manufacturer. So that's it.